Hi guys, it's Ariel from Seattle Coffee Gear and today we are going to be ringing in the new year with a flaming Spanish coffee. Um, so we are going to be using some freshly brewed coffee, uh, triple sec, Kahlua, and um, 151 proof rum if you can get your hands on it. Um, it's a really high proof rum so it's good for flambeing things because it catches easily. Um, it's getting harder and harder to get your hands on um, <laughs> because they are actually starting to outlaw overproofed rum in the Caribbean. Fun fact, I had to hunt for it. All right, so when you're making this drink, there are some safety measures that you have to take. Um, so I've already portioned out one and three quarter ounces of high proof rum and a quarter ounce of triple sec into my Irish coffee mug. You can also use a wine glass. The important part is you need to make sure that it is heat resistant tempered glass um, for safety purposes. So, you know, before I light this up, you know, I have my liquor in here already. My bottles are far away and the lids are closed. And I already have my Kahlua jiggered in here. Um, so I can work quickly. Um, if you have long hair, you want to make sure that your hair is pulled back and your sleeves are rolled up. All right. And I have also rimmed the glass with some brown sugar. So what I'm going to do is I have my lighter and I am just going to tilt this and we're going to go ahead and light it up. Ready? And you want to be careful because the flame can be invisible because it burns very hot. So this is actually on fire right now. It's more dramatic if you turn off the lights. Um, so I'm just going to kind of gently rotate it to give the sugar a chance to caramelize. And just to prove that it's on fire, I'm going to throw some cinnamon on top and you can see that it sparks when you throw that cinnamon. So that's for dramatic effect and it also helps flavor the drink. So we're just going to kind of let that go for a moment. And now this is the important part. I have my one and three quarters ounces of Kahlua in here and you want to pour it in quickly. And that is going to help douse the flame, um, you'll notice that the liquid might boil a little bit. And now we're just going to top it off with some freshly brewed coffee. I have used Methodical Coffee Roasters Blue Boy, which has tasting notes of graham cracker, milk chocolate, and almond. So we're just going to top it off. You can hear it sizzle. All right, so you do have some options for garnishing. You can top it off with more cinnamon. You can also add some whipped cream to the top. It's really more about personal preference. Um, I tried it with the whipped cream, but because the liquid was, you know, so hot, as the cream dropped down, it actually started to curdle, which was not very appealing. So I'm just going to have it black today. Just going to sprinkle a little bit more cinnamon on top. All right, and there we have it. That is our flaming Spanish coffee. All right, so now we're just going to taste it and proceed with caution because this is going to be really hot. It smells amazing. Oh. Oh. It's super boozy, so if you're making this for friends, you might want to start this at the beginning of the night while you are stone cold sober. This is not something that you want to make if you're bartending for people at the end of your evening. But um, the coffee, you know, really pulls through. I'm getting some of those really nice graham cracker notes. Um, the caramelized brown sugar is super, super nice. Um, the flavors just really mesh well together. I'm getting the spice from the cinnamon, the orange from the, um, triple sec and that just 
rocket fuel that is overproofed rum. This is so good. Ha. <laughs> Um, anyway, thank you for joining me. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Cheers, guys. Oh, yes.